Hello guys, this is the second part of the settings menu tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can add the options into the menu. Now uh, we will have to add the options. So we will have to make the settings frame visible again. And let's close this and first let's add a text label. Uh, we will have to first change the text to music, change the color text to white, enable text scaled change the font to Fidoka 1 and make the background transparency to 1 and let's add a uh, Y stroke 2 and let's uh, let's change the thickness to 3 ok 3 it looks nice so let's make it a little bigger and uh, put it something like this now let's make the button and here we will need to add the text button in the settings frame text button uh, we will need to change the name of it to game music or whatever you want now let's add in it an uh, y corner and make it uh, 0 comma 18 and uh, let's uh, adjust uh, his size a little so it should look something like this let's uh, change the color of it here i will uh, choose this green and let's change the text too so search here for text uh, let's change the text to on change the color text to white enable text scaled go here at fonts and uh, change it to fidoka 1 and let's add here on white stroke 2 for the text which uh, we are going to change the thickness to 2 and uh, we will need to add another Y stroke but this Y stroke uh, we will change the apply stroke mode to border and uh, let's change the thickness to 4 now let's script this uh, option ok so now before uh, we start scripting we will need to go here at toolbox uh, change here to audio because uh, we will need to find a song so let's uh, search really fast the song let's uh, choose ambient and select uh, this one doesn't really matter so we will just insert this one now let's close the toolbox and and now drag the music and put it in a replicated storage change the name to game music and make sure that uh, looped is enabled and playing is enabled too and now uh, we can add here in game music in, uh, in this button on local script and also you will find the script in the description so you can just copy it from there Uh, okay, so this script is done. Let's close the script and let's test to see if it works. So I'm here in the game. Uh, the music is playing on the background. And when I press the home button, the music turn off. And it shows here the music is off. And when I press again on the button, the music is on. So everything works fine here. Now let's select the button and the text label. We will have to duplicate them by uh, Command D on Control D on your keyboard and let's drag it a little bit down so make sure there is a space and let's change the name button to day slash night and uh, let's uh, change the text from there too so search here for text and change it to day slash night so something like this it should look like and here we will need to change the text from the button to day let's script the day night too so let's delete the script there from there and add a new one and also you will find the script in the description so you can just copy it from there
Okay, so we are done with this script too, so let's close the script and let's test the game to see if it works. So I'm here in the game, let's turn off the music, the music is off, and when I press the button, there is night, and when I press again the button, it makes day. So this works too. Now let's do the next option, which is shadows. So now let's uh, select the day night button, let's select the text too, and let's duplicate them. And let's uh, move it a little bit down, so something like this, maybe a little bit more. And uh, let's change the name of the text button to shadows. And let's change the text from the text label to shadows too. So here, shadows. Also, we will need to change the text from the shadows button to on. So right here. And let's uh, delete the script from there and add a new one. And also you'll find this script in the description too, so you can just copy it from there. Okay, now before closing everything, make sure to go here at settings frame and set the visibility to false. Now let's close the frame and the screen GUI too. And now uh, we are ready to test the final model. So I'm here in game, the music is playing. Let's go to settings because I don't like the music and let's turn it off. This works, but uh, there is too much uh, light outside and uh, I will choose to make night, so there is night. And I see here my shadow, but I don't really like it, and I will turn it off, and the shadow is gone. Thank you guys for watching until the end of the video, hope everything worked well for you, but if didn't, just contact me through comments and I will be happy to help you. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel because that will help me so much, and I will really appreciate you. And we will see you again in a few days with a new tutorial guys.